In this video, I'm gonna show you how to add margin to the left side of your HTML elements, and we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from Higher Learning Lab, where we help you code better so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If it's your first time here, hit subscribe, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more tutorials for you. With that out of the way, let's learn how to add margin to the left side of HTML elements. So in this example, we're going to add space to the left of the blue box, and that will add space between the blue and the green box. And that's different than padding. You may have also heard of padding. They're often mentioned in the same sentence, margin and padding. Padding adds space inside of the element, and margin adds space outside of the element. So if we add padding to the blue box, we would not see white space appear between green and blue. We just see the blue box get bigger. With margin, we see white space between the green and the blue, like I'm gonna show you right now. So there's two ways to do it. We can do it either with inline CSS or with CSS in a style block. I'm gonna show you both ways. For the inline CSS, we click into the element that creates the blue box, which is ID of box three, is the div that creates the blue box. And we type in style equals open close quotes, type in margin left equals, or sorry, colon, 30 pixels, semicolon. We save that file, refresh this page, and we see that our blue box is now shifted by 30 pixels. And we have a nice piece of white space between the green and the blue box. And that's all there is to adding margin left. We did it via inline, so it's right in the HTML code. That's not how you wanna do it because that makes things harder to maintain it makes you repeat things where you can you can apply the same margin to a thousand different elements but if you do it all in line you have to do it manually on each element whereas if you do it with css you can select all the elements quite easily and apply the same margin to all of them all at once it makes life a lot easier and because you have to always manually add more css code to the html if it's in line it means your page pages are bigger so your load speed is going to be slower which is bad for user engagement on your website. So we always want to make sure, or try at least, to get all of our CSS out of the HTML. So the way we do this is we select the property and value of the CSS, we delete the style equals, and we come up here, I've created the selectors already. We go to box number three, and we paste in margin left, we save this file, we refresh this page, and as you can tell, nothing has changed. And that's because having this command in line in the HTML or in this, in this uh, CSS rule results in the exact same thing. It's just that this way, it's much easier to maintain your CSS code. And that's how we add margin to the left set of HTML elements. I hope this video helps you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below the video. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more tutorials. And next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side here so you can learn more about coding and get even better at it. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.